one uh, sad thing that's happened is I died <laughs> during this process. I wasn't paying attention uh, to my health, um, mostly because I, I I wasn't eating, and so my food bar was down. And so, like, once you start getting hit by these guardians, uh, they could do some serious damage um, after a little while. And, and I died, and unfortunately, I lost my sword and my really nice bow. Uh, but as you can see, uh, I'm getting kind of a pile up over here on this side. I kind of want to get down here actually and get all this stuff up here. Um, so before we kind of had it set up a little bit differently, I kind of want to show uh, what I figured out. Um, I figured out that we really need this to be at a level of the ocean uh, floor. Uh, going up a little bit higher is, is not really the best way to go. Um, and what I mean by that is like, this is the, the sea level right here. Um, we're still able to get uh, on the highest point over here. This is the highest point. This bottom area is still at the sea level. Um, and the, the problem I was having before and it wasn't really pushing them in very well is I lifted this up and it was really hard to get the water um, underneath uh, the area, the way that we need the water to flow. Um, so I was able to figure that out um, and kind of come back to this. Um, so as you can see, I added some magma blocks. Um, that is to help um, if they get stuck on these uh, medium sections right here. Um, I mean, we could take them out completely, but it wasn't really helping that much. Um, but this way, if they get stuck on there for whatever reason, uh, they, they take damage and it just helps the process even better. And so that kind of works out a little bit. Um, plus, it, if any items, like if they actually do die on there, um, all of the items get funneled into the, the end area anyway. Uh, but as you can see, even in a small amount of time, this thing is collecting quite a bit of stuff. Um, so what we need to do is actually get this uh, f uh, fixed and finished over here on this side and that's what we're going to do right now. Um, in here I went down uh, sea level here on the, the deeper side. As you can see on this side uh, I have the, the top level and then I went down one, two, three more and uh, hey. Uh, kind of created a funnel system so uh, all of the things will just fall in there um, it's been working really well and then on the sides where it's uh, at sea level uh, all you have to do is go down two and that that should be plenty of uh, space for it to go down um, I actually haven't even taken out this side uh, and it seems to be working just fine because uh, on the other side let's show you out that real quick and we'll get right into this uh, this side it, it has a little bit of a dip um, so what you could do uh, to fix that on this side is just replace all of these with blocks but like actually might as well just do it right now start off like where the, the funnel is going in and then just block this off completely try not to fall in and then uh, work your way back And then it'll get rid of that and so there's a little bit more of them you know area for them to fall into uh, we are getting a lot of fish and bones um, in this so it's definitely a really good source of fish uh, if anything um, but now that that whole area is perfect but I want to show you that uh, just the amount of stuff that we've been able to get in such a short amount of time I think this is where we're gonna put the um, the collection area for at least the shards maybe and kind of make like a water door um, I made a water door right here so you can just kind of swim through um, plus I found out that this is a, a chunk for slime so that's gonna be kind of cool we might be able to turn this into a, a slime farm as well uh, so that'll be kind of cool but uh, this is the the amount of crystals and stuff while I've been working on it and I've just got it running pretty good here in a little bit uh, plus I just collected those but there's been a lot of fish and bones I mean I've had to move a lot of the fish over here you could get this uh, situated and put into an auto cooker uh, so that you can get um, the experience I'm sorry you're kind of 
so cute, but okay. Um, you can set up like a bamboo farm uh, on top of it, and it'll just auto cook all this stuff. And then that way you can come back and maybe collect the experience for it, and then just send. I mean, honestly, you're not going to need this many fish, so you can kind of set it up to um, basically set it up to kind of go into a trash, you know, like with some lava or something like that, where it just kind of gets spit out into some lava once it gets cooked. Um, at, and you could even set it up, and if you want me to make a video on that, I could definitely do that, where uh, you have a certain amount of fish that will be collected, and then once it overflows and uh, you don't want that much fish anymore uh then i can have it so it it goes to a trash area on the, all the extra but you're still collecting all the experience i mean you would have to be in this area for it to work completely and you could add um okay, that looked like it was off for some reason okay uh you could collect uh you know and put your own kind of fuel in there to kind of speed up the process while you're over here working on it and stuff uh, or just make a really, really big bamboo farm. Uh, anything like that it w would work. Bamboo is just kind of a, a renewable, constant res you know, resource that is good for fuel. It takes four uh, per item to cook, which is kind of uh, the, the longevity of it. You know, like it takes a long time um, in some ways. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's really kind of a good uh, source of fuel. Um, I did see a spider up there, so I might want to put in some uh, glow stones or something like that in here um, under the, the tracks. But what we're probably going to end up doing anyway, and maybe while I'm doing this, I'll, I'll put in some uh, some of these lanterns or I'll get some glowstone or something. But uh, what I want to do is actually make a line of hoppers that go across... Uh, that way there's more hoppers for the, the items to get shipped into uh, because it seems like at the end and I'll uh, kind of have to wait until this gets all the way back but the the minecart hopper is actually getting full faster uh, than it's dropping off and I, I kind of extend this a little bit I got some more hoppers in there. there's quite a bit of hoppers but here let's, let's turn this off and I'll just kind of show you because probably by the end this thing is going to be packed so let's look at what we got in here. See, we got 48 of those. You know, we don't want to lose. I mean, yeah, it kind of holds the spot, so it kind of keeps, you know, funneling them in. Uh, but again, like I said, like, you don't really want... I mean, there's only, like, five items anyway uh, for it to pick up, but you don't want to lose anything. Um, if that was at 64 or something like that, you wouldn't be able to pick up any more of the shards and stuff, and that's the stuff we really want. So I'm probably going to put another line of hoppers going all the way across just to kind of have more uh, hoppers for it to go into so it empties faster. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this is our our finished uh, minecart system. I kind of spent quite a bit of time last night uh, getting this all finished up, but I really want to get uh, I want to get the rest of it built up. I got about an hour, uh, so I want to kind of show you guys that and how I did it. Okay, so as you can see, these things are just getting funneled in left and right, which is going to be awesome. Once we get this whole thing uh, situated, I think that we're going to have a lot more productivity. I feel like there's a lot more guardians on this side of the um, farm than there are on this side. Because uh, I'm not really seeing too many coming up on this side. So I feel like up, up in the front area, you're going to have a lot more productivity. So I would definitely start in the front of the monument. Okay, so... As you can see right there, we got two down from the um, magma block. That's going to be our first level. All right, and I think I need some glass too. You know, we're just going to use this light gray glass. I kind of made it and I didn't really know what to do with it anyway. So uh, for this side, we can just line the glass underneath all the way out. We might need to break this eventually because um, we definitely want the water to be a solid block underneath the um, the highest one. Uh, so we might have to break some of that, but for now, uh, let's just do that. So right here, we start with the glass section as being one, and then this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to be going up 
right here with the magma blocks for our first section of the next wave up. And then this is gonna go all the way across. So let's go ahead and get this built out. So we kind of have an idea of where this is gonna go. Um, right here, we got our silk touch perfect. Let's build this, oop, <laughs> build this out. further sounds about right and then this is gonna go all the way over here and then on this side I think that we're gonna have to break yeah we're gonna have to break those glass pieces over there but basically you want the the glass piece right there um, because you're not gonna want water to come into this area you want it to be completely dry this right here is gonna be the, the bottom of where it funnels in. So you're gonna have the water source block right here, right next to the magma, and it's gonna be flowing this direction. So this whole area needs to be dry, but this the block that we're gonna be removing is going to be a solid water source. And so once we break all this out, um, it will become a, a water source as long as it's free of anything on this side and that side. Uh, so the same thing applies for this side over here. So we actually need to break these. A little challenging when you're in the water like this. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, so this is, should be the end. So for this right here, uh, the magma block is gonna be the next level. And so we have one, two, Okay, counting the magma, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, se seven, and eight. All right, so that's gonna be the end. Uh, so we can actually build this all the way across to the other side. And then what we're gonna wanna do, cause uh, you know, I do want the clear glass. Is this gonna look a little funny? We want this to go all the way across as well. That'll block off the water from coming into the dry zone. Probably have that going out anyway, but for now we're just gonna focus on this. Uh, this is gonna be the other side of this section. So for now, uh, we're just gonna block this off with a temporary block. Uh, that way we can dry this whole section out. And then eventually we'll have this whole thing funneled. I mean, we seriously just have that corner and this to, to do, and then this is gonna be finished and then put the sand or the soul sand underneath. So we're getting pretty close. All right, so for this area, we just wanna line uh, with the temporary block, this whole area, and then the um, other section as well. Okay. <laughs> All right, so once you have the whole bottom area uh, completely capped off, uh, so nothing else uh, can come in from the outside here, all you have to do is fill the rest of it with sand and then remove the sand. It's pretty, pretty simple there, and then I'll be back here in a second once I get this all emptied out. Uh, you can also, actually, now that I think about it, you could also use your sponges uh, as a really good way to get rid of the water in here. Um, I don't know why I'm not doing that. <laughs> Actually, maybe that's what I'll go do. Let's see here. Should be able to start at the top here. Maybe block off this just so it's not as difficult. So like block it off into two sections. So we only have to use our sponges one time. Let's go with right here. Perfect. Now that was a lot faster. Perfect. And then for this section. But with the amount of sponges we got, we still are able to get it done really quickly. Nice. Well, that'll save me some time. <laughs> and we're a tear that I don't have to go recharge my shovel again. <laughs> it's 
Seriously, I've had to uh, recharge my shovel and my pickaxes a couple times, plus my armor has been uh, needing recharge a couple times. I'm really glad I didn't lose any of my armor pieces, honestly, uh, when I died. That was a fortunate thing, but man, my sword was kind of a cool sword. And I have no idea what happened to it. I looked for it for quite a while. <laughs> So now, uh, we can break the glass right here. You're gonna go one further down. Um, okay, so the bottom area is going to be uh, more magma blocks right here. And again, it's just if they get stuck on there, at least they're, uh, they're taking damage. And I put uh, blocks so I could just, um, you know, empty the sand really quickly on the other sides and on the bottom so I don't like fall in and whatnot when I'm doing my shovel. Um, that's the, this is the way I kind of built myself down uh, to not fall in. So like I did one step at a time and then got down to my level, you know, placed one, placed one placed one just to get down here and then I just kind of placed them along the way. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and then let's remove from this side first. Oop, that would have been bad. want to remove from the bottom down so you don't have uh, the water spilling over the top uh, so what I mean by that is let's put like a block like this okay so uh, you don't want to remove any of the the middle area you just want to remove the the bottom area so that way the the water stays uh, completely still. And you can crouch on this. I keep forgetting that. So it doesn't hurt you. Just place that. And again, your collection system is just going to collect all this down at the bottom anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. And then for this area, I, that's this is where I was thinking of where you want to start at the bottom is these this two gap here. Uh, if you start at the bottom, you're not going to have that overage. You'll just have like a little bit of, you know, water flowing down like that, which isn't a, a, a big thing, you know. So if you start off like this, then the water is kind of flowing off a little bit more. All right. So this is the complete, uh, the, the middle is complete. All right. So what we can do, it doesn't really matter what block it is, we just need a temporary block. What you're going to do is put a line going all the way across, leaving a one inch gap or a one block gap. Uh, that way we could put in our water source block. everything in our inventory here okay and then fill up one uh, bucket and then start in the one corner and then once you do about that you should be able to grab one from there and just kind of feed it back and forth until it goes all the way to the end oh, not there. perfect you see the water still like that that's that's how you know you got it and then you can just take water from here go down do the same thing and now that it's all still uh, what you're gonna want to do is break these blocks first or, or what I mean is the, the blocks holding back the water you don't want to break underneath uh, before you do this you want to make sure the water flows okay All 
All right, now that you've gotten all this, and that's gonna just push in there, so it's not a big deal. And then what you're gonna wanna do is break all the blocks underneath. Once all of these are completely broke, uh, all of the water blocks underneath here are gonna turn to a solid water block because of the way that the water mechanics work. As it goes across, it's just gonna create a, um, a solid water source all the way underneath here, uh, which will allow all this stuff to be collected a lot easier. Uh, all this stuff's gonna get pushed up once the soul sand is underneath there, and so that's not gonna be a problem. Put these blocks right here, not, not where they're at. And the reason being is um, the way that the water mechanics works is once we built this other side out and we get the water flowing, if it doesn't actually go all the way uh, to the magma blocks like this right here, it'll actually kind of make an empty gap and you don't want that. So, and that's the reason why I did that on this side. So it actually has the water flowing all the way to the side here. All right, we can actually remove all of this and then we'll just put in our Okay. Um, the way that I did it was I did not put soul sand under where the um, magma cubes are. So I'm going to have like a gap right here, gap on the other side, and then kind of go out about seven from here. So we'll just go, I leave a gap. Should be a gap on that side. Perfect. Okay, so that's one. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm leaving these gaps because I feel like um, it's helping to put like a water source in between so the um, guardians can swim to it. I feel like it's working a lot better having some kind of water gap for them to go to. Okay, and then have another gap right here because that's where the magma cubes are. Pretty good food source. I mean, fish is not the best food in the game, but it's definitely something. Uh, lots of bones, which we are going to be doing a skeleton farm in the, the near future because we have the skeleton spawner. It's super easy. I mean, that, uh, spawn. Uh, I think that mob spawners are probably one of the easiest uh, things to build. So th that's going to be a really fun thing to do here in the near future. All right, so let's build this out and get this last bit done, and then we are completely done with uh, with this farm. Uh, and it's going to be up and running. And anytime we're in this area, uh, even if we're building the the stuff down below, uh, draining it, all this stuff, it's going to be working nonstop. So that's going to be the the cool part about it. All right, so for this, uh, all we're doing is extending this out. Uh, we did go 16 back. Um, so what we're going to do is, but it's going to be the same thing, but it's going to be not as hard as this. Cause this, this is the hard part is draining it and stuff like that. But I mean, the fact that we used our sponges, I mean, that was, that was big brain. Uh, definitely, definitely saved us some time. I wish I would have done that and thought about that when I did the other side. I think it was just really late and I wasn't really thinking <laughs> clearly enough. Uh, you know, sleep is good. All right, so what we're gonna do is start off with some glass areas on the outside. And again, this um, this bottom area needs to be a solid water source. As you can see all the way across, uh, there is nothing blocking it. Uh, so what we need to do is just put the glass right here. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then uh, there should be one more for the magma block. And just go across with the magma blocks. All the way across, we're probably gonna get launched up. Yep. All right. Uh, we, we will need to be breaking this though, cause this is gonna all be gone after this is all done here. So just break that. Put a magma block right there just to replace that and then you need to raise it up a little bit we do want this to be a solid water source again uh 
all the way underneath here so we do need it to be open uh, so what we're gonna do is go up one and then across so this is one two three four five six seven and eight and then one more and then go across all the way um, we could leave this uh, I don't think it was a problem as long as the water goes all the way across um, if you do have any problems with that I think I'm just gonna leave it open for now uh, just because I'm curious if that would even I think it'd be probably better that it's open uh, so other than that what you want to do is take uh, your temporary blocks from your magma blocks and just build across to create a platform for your um, water uh, to be flowing on and this backside after I get done with this the backside is the easiest because you don't have to actually remove any water What we are going to want to do is build this out underneath here as well. All right. So for this side, uh, what you're going to want to do is that temporary block uh, to put the water source block um, in there. Um, eventually we're going to just tear this out. For this one, since the water's already there, all you have to do is block it off and then uh, just drain this whole area. And all right, and then just remove this section here. Can remove this right here as well. All right. And then for this uh, section up here, you just want to get your one water bucket and do what we did um, in that last area. Just grab a water source, go out about three blocks, and then just continue the process until the whole thing is full of water. All right, we do need to put one block there. these first hmm let's put that there let's figure this out here Perfect, okay, so now that we have um, that, what we're going to want to do is grab a water source block and then fill that. No, that did not work. I'm trying to think how I did that. Yeah, I did it. Uh, we might have the same issue over here, um, so we'll we'll see if we can figure that out and get it to work. I think starting from the other side though is definitely helpful. Okay, so let's put this all the way up. Okay. Yay! Okay, we got it. <laughs> Figured it out. I think once you get that one block, you just need to not have the that one block right there to mess it up. Okay. <laughs> so now that we got that done. Uh, now all we have to do is remove the um, sections here 
and put in our soul sand and then we're done this this whole thing is completely done the, again there's more things that you can do to make it more efficient like drying out the inside area making sure there's no other water sources for them to get stuck in uh, or under um, but other than that I mean really this this thing is gonna be pretty productive it's gonna start giving you lots of uh, those crystals and uh, prismarine shards and stuff like that so you can make all kinds of different uh, prismarine type blocks uh, plus I mean I have gotten some ink sacks and stuff from uh, squids um, so that's definitely something that could be a possibility to catch in here um, I haven't gotten a lot uh, but it's definitely been there and again this whole area right here should be completely full of water source blocks uh, that way uh, you don't have any issues so this whole section right here though because uh, I'm only going for where the magma blocks are so I just have to go completely out from this corner all the way out to this area and then we're good all right so again I'll probably off stream uh, I'm probably gonna come in uh, kind of block this off a little bit maybe even just put uh, some sand or just uh, build this out a little bit maybe some glass and just drain it who knows what I'm gonna do uh, probably just do something to keep them from uh, getting caught underneath this area um, as we look over in this other side here sometimes they get stuck underneath here uh, where the door is going to be but I'm going to be draining this whole thing out uh, so this is going to be like a collection uh, spot I think or at least a doorway to get in uh, but sometimes they get stuck underneath here um, I don't see any under here right now uh, which is good so I'm probably going to be blocking off this whole area, possibly draining it as well. Just kind of have it as a extra area to build some pretty cool stuff, maybe. Uh, for the most part, they're going to start swimming in uh, and getting caught in this area. I mean, you're seeing tons of them um, already. I mean, this is this is going really well, I think. <laughs> so that is our guardian farm. I'm really excited to be finished with that. Uh, it looks like we have lots of uh, guardians coming in here. If you did like the video, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. I spent a lot of time on this. I feel like it's working really, really well. Um, I feel like it's definitely going to be a, a good uh, production. If anything, for fish experience, bones for bone mill, anything like that. Uh, if it was helpful, I mean, hopefully this would save you a lot of time. Uh, gathering up resources and stuff like that that you need you need quite a bit of materials for this uh, project I mean there are other projects but I mean any guardian farm out there that I've seen I mean this is very unique I think I don't think I've seen anybody do one like this uh, if you if you have seen I mean post a post a, a, a link I'll definitely check out their video definitely give them a like and a, a view for sure um, I haven't personally seen anybody build one like this uh, before so hopefully uh, this will be something new for all those minecrafters out there um, other than that I really appreciate everybody and all their support and I will see you guys all in the next video oh, this things loaded oh geez <laughs> Okay, definitely need to get the sorting system figured out for this uh, sooner rather than later. <laughs> uh, now that it's in full production, uh, definitely need to get... Oh, jeez, I got all these chests here. Um, I'm definitely going to have a sorting system for all the fish um, and have just a discard. Because uh, once you get a certain amount of fish, I mean, it's too many fish.